Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor's video being Manscaped. I've been a long time Manscaped user because I do believe grooming is important, even if my face doesn't really show right now. So here we have the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, and actually I got a lot more. I got the performance package. So not only do we have the sleek fourth generation trimmer, which features cutting edge ceramic blades to reduce grooming incidents, thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Lawnmower 4.0 also has a 7,000 RPM motor and a multifunction on off switch, which can engage a travel lock. It also has a 4000K LED so you can see what you're doing down there. One of my favorites too, which I am glad to get more of, is the Crop Preserver, a ball deodorant that helps to create an anti-chafing barrier and provides freshness below the waist, if you know what I'm saying. We then also have the Crop Reviver, which is a ball toner, which features soothing aloe and witch hazel extracts for protection among the highly sensitive areas of the body. It also comes with a shed-free travel bag and a pair of anti-chafing boxers. I love these things. The pack also has the Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear trimmer. It also has a skin safe technology, so you're not gonna get, you know, those, uh, let's say, nicks and tugs and ouchies. Similarly, they have shock resistant waterproof housings, and all the packaging and liquid formulations are cruelty free, they're vegan, dye free, sulfate free, paraben free. So your balls will thank you, but so will everybody else, because you can stay smelling fresh, keeping cool, and like I said, honestly, the products work oh so well. It's just, you can't beat it. Grab one now. Using my code Joel Hansen to get 20% off. Yes, so go to manscaped.com forward slash Joel Hansen. Use that code Joel Hansen and or click that link down below, guys, to save 20% off your order today. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen. And today we're in the lovely Las Vegas, guys. I'm so excited to be back. And we are on the quest for some secret foods. Yes, Las Vegas' is secret foods, guys. And we're talking gold burgers. Yes, burgers, literally gold, gold burgers. Can you imagine eating delicious burgers that are covered with gold buns, gold bacon, billionaire bacon. So I'm super excited. Today we are outside Slater's 5050 guys, here on the quest for their notorious and secret whale burger. So this whale burger is actually a secret menu item. You have to go in, find a QR code to access a secret menu, and then you can order it. Um, let's just say, we're gonna go big though guys. These burgers cost like a hundred bucks each because you got gold bacon, you have a full pound of Wagyu, you have gold buns, we have a lobster tail on it. These are giant, they're like two pounds each. We're gonna order, again, I'm thinking two or three of them, uh, so it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks worth of delicious burgers, but we gotta go find it first. So let's head on in, let's have this a crazy expensive Las Vegas burger challenge. I think this is gonna be insane, guys. Again, when you're in Vegas, these are big foods. This is what it's Vegas is known for, over the top, lavish. So let's go have some crazy burgers. Let's go try to find the menu first, and uh, Let's head on in and hopefully we can find this whale burger to order it at that. All right, so we just got inside. So I'm gonna give a little secret away. So again, it's called the whale burger after all. So what do you think you're looking for? Look for something with a whale. That looks like a whale tail. There's a lot of hundred dollar bills behind that. So I'm gonna grab my phone and scan this uh, QR code. All right, and there we go. Congrats, you have found the whale, guys. Whales are big, whales are rare, whales are intelligent. Whales are mythical. They have been seeked by, for, by many for centuries, even just a glimpse of their majestic tail. In Las Vegas, the whale denotes the upper echelon of patrons who gamble only the highest stakes. At Slater 2050, the whale represents the most mysterious burger served with luxury and decadence. Introducing the whale burger. Oh my gosh, look at that, look at that image. That is insane. So we have the uh, gold buns. Wow, that looks like a huge giant burger. Here we go. This is what's on it, guys. Um, so we have gold dusted brioche bun three pieces of their gold dusted billionaire bacon, fried lobster, Australian Wagyu, a full pound, two slices of truffle cheese, homemade bacon jam, arugula, roasted garlic aioli, and then the champagne, 100 bucks, guys. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, go big or go home in Vegas. And I think you get this f uh, card, this signature kind of whale card. So, let's order this thing. All right, everyone, so here we are with the burgers. In front of me, I have three of the whale burgers. Here is our card, everybody. This is the signature card you can only get if you order a whale burger these things are so huge they also just smell fantastic but because it's wagyu it's lobster they are so soft and succulent everybody just look at that thing that is absolutely delicious 
So we do have three of them here. Again, we have the gold billionaire's bacon. We have the gold buns. Uh, again, arugula. We have a garlic aioli. We have the fried tempura lobster tail. It's a whole lobster tail, a pound of Wagyu on each. And then the exquisite, one of a kind, truffle cheese that you can only get here on all of Western United States. So I am beyond excited, guys. This is absolutely amazing. These are, again, like two pounds each. These are huge. There's so much food, but it just smells amazing. This is like, seriously, the most lavish, extreme, best burger in America, and especially like Las Vegas, guys. These are crazy. So this is also 300 bucks. We do have the uh, the champagne. We do get champagne with it. I'm not gonna have any champagne today. I gotta watch my health, and I think eating three of these burgers is going to be enough. Um, so with that, everybody, I'm so pumped. Let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everyone, so I am pumped, but let's eat. Let's finally, finally, finally eat, guys. I'm so excited to try this whale burger. Um, so like I said, I'm going to pull one of these knives. This is, uh, this is going to be luscious and huge amounts of patties, guys. That billionaire gold bacon. That just looks so cool. Um, but check out this burger, everybody. Like the, oh, it is just, it is just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So I am so pumped. You can see just the textures. Oh my gosh, there's so much fat. And like, it's such a succulent, rich, oh, it smells so good. And it smells like truffle. So uh, let's give this first bite, guys. I'm pumped, so how about we get started? Basically like right now. I, I don't even know if I can actually bite this, and this is huge. I can't do it. It's huge. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, everybody. Oh my God, just look at this. That is, my God, the truffle, the bacon. Mm. Mm. All right, hands down, this is the best burger I've ever had in my life. I gotta show you again, guys. This is just far too beautiful. It's just dripping, guys. Oh my god, that bacon jam. Mm. Mm. That crispy lobster. Literally, guys, that is the most amazing burger I've ever had. Mm. So rich, so soft. Mm. Mm. And look how juicy that is. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we have the craziest burger I've ever eaten. In fact, well, we have multiple of them. Here we are at Slater's 5050 Las Vegas, a Las Vegas exclusive, here eating their whale burger. So we're talking pure Australian Wagyu. We have lovely fried lobster tails. We have delicious billionaire bacon. We have truffle cheese and oh, everything's so good. I'll tell you, these things are rich and heavy though. That is just amazing. Round two, guys. I'm lucky enough to have a round two. So huge. So happy to just look at it again. Wow, just wow. Las Vegas, try this out. Definitely, this has to be a, a top 10 food item, like a must try. And it's just perfectly flavored. And we're eating gold, everybody. Mm. 
that bacon jam and that garlic aioli combo and that flavor of the wagyu guys this was one of those times where a word cannot describe the combination of that seafood that fatty wagyu beef the cheese the delicious bacon the aiolis everything in here was just absolutely perfect uh, this is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime dining experience, something I wanted to give a shot while I was in Las Vegas, and boy am I glad I ever did. This burger has literally changed my standards of what I could call a burger, and I don't think I'll ever be able to replicate this experience. It is sweet, we got a little spiciness from like the bacon, it's just like, I, I literally can't believe this. Guys, and that truffle cheese, I didn't know a burger could taste this good. Now, if you want a slightly less over the top experience, they have their gold burger, their 24 karat burger, which is essentially just this exact burger without the lobster tail, without the champagne, and it's more around 30 bucks. So I would totally give that a go. Look how soft this bite is. Amazing. This is honestly a burger you don't need to add anything to. But I do love ketchup. And they have this signature bacon ketchup. So I gotta at least try it a little bit. Mm. Oh man, that is good. Woo! Everybody just gold, gold deluxe. You're a heavenly bliss, everybody. I'm gonna try it with some ketchup. Now, by no means does anybody need to eat three of these. Of course, we made this into an over-the-top extravagant Las Vegas burger challenge, eating th over $300 worth of burgers, you know, in however long. That being said, everybody, let me know what you think of this burger down below, and if you would like a bite, and more importantly, if you ever had anything like this. So like I said, let me know down below what you think of this. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and at that, let's get to the rest of the video. You know what? This is the first burger I've ever said don't add ketchup to. It is perfect as is. Just absolutely perfect. Talk about substantial burger though. They say most people order this and get through like half of it. I see why. It is so rich, so flavorful. And that lobster, that lobster up there. What a great flavor, guys. Never lobster on a burger before. Guys, that was just beyond amazing. I gotta say. Mm. And that bacon. 
Are you such like a candy sweet? A little bit of spice. Thank you. And she handed me a moist towelette. I'll definitely need that. Words cannot describe everybody. Anyway, guys, we are finished. Like, literally the best burger I've ever had. That Australian Wagyu, that bacon, the lobster on there. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like, this is a must try when you come to Vegas here. The whale, the whale is just everything and is as magical as you'd think it would be. Like I said, best burger I've ever had. That truffle cheese is phenomenal, everybody. I am sh like, just, it was amazing, but. Anyway, we also ate a three hundred dollars worth of burgers in like I don't know nine minutes, maybe less than ten minutes. I gotta say that was the best, some of the best eating of ten minutes of my life, maybe the best ten minutes of eating of my life, guys. Definitely a must try. They also do have the twenty-four carat burger, which is just like this, minus the lobster. Um, if you want to come and get something, um, which is a gold burger with the wagyu. That is more about like 30-ish dollars for a full, a full beef, a pound of beef on it. So super, that's like super, super affordable. These again, you know, 100 bucks, a little steeper. But it's, I think it's worth it. And you do get a bottle of champagne, you know. So, I mean, if you like champagne, you get your drinks and you get your burger. Now, I wouldn't recommend eating three of them. But I tell you, it is that good that you could eat three of them. And I would eat three of those every single day of my life. That was the best thing I've ever, ever had. Like, best burger, guys. But, so, like I said, if you're ever in Las Vegas, guys, Slater's 5050, definitely stop by. by. Um, this is the uh, Summerlin location. This is their new location. Just opened up in March of 2022. They have another location as well. Um, but, yeah, this is the this, these burgers are only available at those two locations. Um, it's not at the other Slater's across the country. So, Las Vegas, big, over-the-top, lavish. It is exactly what you need, guys. What happens in Vegas... So in this case, will not stay in Vegas. This will definitely be a little bit on my waist. Let's put it that way. These were not calorie free. These were not low in calories, but they were absolutely amazing. If I drink a Diet Coke, that helps counteract the uh, the calories, right? I'm just kidding. Like I said, everybody, huge thanks to all the staff here. Those awesome. If you're ever in the area, stop on by. Must must try. And uh, I definitely say, if you come on in, tell them that you saw this guy eat way too many of these. And uh, yeah, that was about that, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, the next time, so happy out the hunger, happy eating. Let me know down below where else I should go in Las Vegas. And uh, until next time, everybody, I appreciate you. And that, have a lovely day. Hey, everyone. So, guys, here we are with our good friends, JC and Faith. Guess what we're doing? We're out here shooting because we're in Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm so excited. I appreciate everybody um, reaching out just like JC and Faith did. And so we're in for a hell of a treat. We got so many different guns and firearms here today. We have everything from AKs. We have an M1 Grand from World War uh, II. We have um, ARs. We have all these things I don't even know all the names of. You know, again, we're out here. You gotta, gotta stay strapped. So I got myself on a Glock, and that's about it, guys. So uh, at that, let's have some fun. Let's shoot, America, freedom. I like it, guys. Like I said, guns in Las Vegas just go two and two. So I'm excited. All right, guys, we're starting with an AK because why not? I think it's a good, reliable place to start. Woo hoo! -hoo. Loading an M1 Grand. There we go. Everyone, an M1 Grand. 
literally a World War II gun. We're talking like 60, 70 years in the making. Actually, wait, more like 80. Almost like 80 years in the making. So this is, uh, this is gonna be interesting. I think this thing's gonna kick, but this is so cool. So let's give this a, give this a shot. Nice, empty it. They clip out the top. Yeah, guys. Call of Duty as like a teenager made me want to see that. That is so cool, man. <laughs> Dude, that 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 king out the top. That is so like satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah, you're right. Yeah. If you held it down, it would have. It goes right. I just ate a bunch of gas. <laughs> Did ya? <laughs> There's actually more kick on that than I thought. It's because it's so light. Yeah. yeah. That's impressive, everybody. Glock 19, we're here at the pistol range. We have some moving targets, which I've never shot before. There you go. There you go. There you go. Woo. A little better. There we go, Faith getting some rounds in. Boom, boom. Nice. Second time's a charm, everybody. Glock 19, moving target. I'm gonna suck. <laughs> Let's give this a rock. Let's see how this goes. Once it starts moving, I, uh, don't, I, I lose my confidence. One moving one, I'll take it. <laughs> that was nice. See, yeah. Oh, his is really moving. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. Nice. Woo! Wow. Yours was a thousand times harder than mine. Yeah, that's like. In my ear. Hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.